What's going on guys? Heavily Scents here for another fragrance review and today we're going to talk about Jewelry by Kajal Perfumes. So if you guys have seen my two previous reviews, I've done a vlog style reviews for those two and today I'm going to change it up and do a nice standard YouTube review. So I want to read uh, the description behind Jewelry and then we're going to talk about it. So Jewelry is our red rose in all its aspects of love. Inviting a warm nutmeg and clove create the top notes of jewelry. Lemon and bergamot are also added to create a zest of freshness with traces of ginger and pepper lingering not far behind. The harvest fragrance is rose and fruit infused with fruity, almost banana-like notes of ylang ylang and orange blossom. I love anything with blossom in it. The base notes and the dry down of the fragrance is a beautiful honey scent matched with musk, tonka beans, and a woody sandalwood and cedar mix that creates a long lasting impression for the wearer that keeps you wanting more. So out of this sample pack, jewelry would be third for me if I had to put them in order. Um, when I think of jewelry, it's most definitely a winter scent for me. Um, to me, it smells a lot like Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone. Um, every single year when I go to a Neiman Marcus around the fall winter time, I always go to a Neiman Marcus store. And every time, every year I stop at the Joe Malone spot, the section, and I always pick up Myrrh and Tonka. And every year I'm like, okay, this is the year that I'm going to get it. But for some reason, I just never actually get it. Um, I think that if Myrrh and Tonka had a little bit of what jewelry had in their fragrance then i probably i probably would have gotten it already um it has orange blossom in i like orange blossom now can i detect the orange blossom in it no because i i just can't detect it in that way but i'm pretty sure if you were to take it out then i probably would tell the difference um so yeah i get i get joe malone myrrh and tonka which makes sense because it has tonka in it um, it has tonka beans, it has musk. I'm not sure if, if, Joe, if, if Myrrh and Tonka had sandalwood in it. Um, I, I, I don't have the, the notes of Myrrh and Tonka in front of me to compare it, but yeah, it reminds me of a lot of Myrrh and Tonka. It's that style of fragrance. So I wanna give you an idea of what style of fragrance it is. And it's a Myrrh and Tonka style of fragrance, which to me, that's more of a, a fall winter scent. Um, there's no vanilla in it, surprisingly, but my nose is picking up vanilla. Um, but not the not your standard vanilla. It's for me. It's literally picking up Tom Ford's tobacco vanilla vanilla, even though it has no vanilla in it. So in my mind, this fragrance to me, to my nose, smells like a combination of Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone and Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford. That's really what I get from it. It is a good scent. It's a great scent. I like it a lot. Um, it is third for me. Um. But yeah, I, 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 I think that's probably the most pinpoint and most accurate way to um, describe this fragrance. Um, so if you have experienced Joe Malone, Myrrh and Tonka, or if you have experienced some Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, then uh, with those two uh, scents in mind, it'll kind of give you an idea of jewelry, uh, the vibe for jewelry. So yeah, a little short review today. I ain't doing too much. I ain't acting crazy today. Dage, what you think? Dage is here. Y'all ain't know that. Third wall broken. Fourth wall broken. Dage. She said it's okay. What else, Dage? She smells good. Let you hop on the camera, Dage. Okay. She won't hop on the camera. It's okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna give you the bottle. I wanna smell which one you, you smell it like. But you smell it now. But it's okay. I mean, my nose kind of stuff. So okay, whatever. I'm just gonna interpret for her because I don't think you'll be able to hear her. You never do that. Like yeah. This is the one that smells like Vicks. The one that smells like Vicks? No, 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 that's it. You gotta spray it because that's not the one that smells like Vicks. Spray it, Beige. Spray it. It's not Vicks. Oh. They said take it. So Daisy's not a fan of jewelry. Okay. No, it's just very strong. I, I like it, but it's, it's super strong. She like it, but it's super strong. I don't think this is a casual everyday smell. Heck no, no, no. It's not casual everyday. To me, it's fall, winter for sure. Yeah, it's, um, it's definitely like a spice. Oh yeah, it's spicy. It got a spice to it. I wonder if the, if the spice is the... The warm nutmeg and cloves. That's probably the warmness. So yeah, it has nutmeg in it. So when I think of nutmeg, I think of, you know, nice eggnog with a little bit of... 
All right, so it's like Thanksgiving. It's very seasonal, it's very seasonal. Um, yeah, the nutmeg, I think, is what's giving it that spice, and it's like, it's like drinking a nice cold glass of eggnog. Do you guys like eggnog? Comment in the description below because that's so important, right? Especially this time of year in the heat, 82 degrees on a May evening. But yeah, so yeah, it, the, the nutmeg encloses for sure the spice uh, portion of it. And it has ginger and pepper in it as well. Ginger is spicy and pepper is spicy. So that's where the spice is for sure coming from. Um, Tonka bean, we talked about tonka beans. We talked about, um, it has honey in it. So all of these notes, honey, um, ginger, pepper, nutmeg, cloves, these are all spices. These are all, well not honey, but these are all, you know, November, December types of, you know, smells. Uh, like when you walk into Starbucks and they have their seasonal pumpkin spice, like this is what I would smell like as I'm drinking my pumpkin spice latte. So that's what jury is, pinpointed. I have nothing else to say. Thanks, Kajal. That is it. Boom.